Hi Scorpio, this is Nayla Latrice and I am here to do your weekly read for the last week of October. So I am going to jump right in. We have the Fool's Moon, the Fool's Moon, y'all help me. We are in uh, Mercury retrograde and I am just all over the place with my words. And my hair is just doing what it wants to do. I'm going to have to fix this real quick because it's going to, like, get on my nerves if I don't. <laughs> Excuse me, you guys. Excuse me for a quick second. It is what it is. Whatever. Anyways, welcome if you are new to the channel. <laughs> Uh, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would absolutely love to have you added to the family over here. Gang, gang, a. <laughs> and uh, if you are a, a subscriber already, thank you for coming back and supporting me. So we have a full moon this weekend on Halloween. And it is the hunter's moon. So make sure that you guys, I can't wait. I, I am looking forward to releasing everything that um, is not serving me. So make sure that you guys are doing the same. Make sure that you guys are writing in your journals everything that you want to release. Make sure that you guys are um, clearing out space in your home um, of stagnant energy. Maybe there's uh, lamps that's just sitting in your garage that you're not using. Throw them out. Let that get that energy out of from your space. You want to clear everything out right now. Make sure that you guys are ready to connect with your ancestors, that you guys are ready to receive the intuition that is here and ready waiting for you, okay? So let's jump right on in. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? And this was at the bottom of the deck and it popped right on out. Seven of Swords, you are seven of Wands. You are blocking somebody out of your life. Yep, you're going through a transformation, but this person is about to come back real quick. There's somebody that you're blocking out of your life that you're standing your ground on some type of situation. I feel like you've had people coming at you sideways and people that have been really trying to mess with you and you've been pretty much fighting, even if it's not physical fighting, you've been fighting uh, with your words or just mentally with these people and you're kind of like, why y'all coming at me like that? What have I done to y'all for y'all to come at me like this? They're jealous. They don't like that you're being successful. They don't like how strong you are. They don't like how well that you bounce back out, out of situations that you've been in Scorpio and therefore you constantly have to defend yourself and stand up for yourself because people just always want to talk shit and this is you at, at the bottom of the deck right here so this is you showing up in your own read you are going through a major transformation and I feel like you've deaded a lot of these people in your life spirit why is seven of wands here why is seven of wands here why is seven of wands here? You guys have ended some situations. Like I said, you guys have deaded some situations. You guys are the empress. People have been talking about you behind your back and everything else. And they've been leaving you feeling like you've done something wrong. Even though you know you, you're not the problem, it's been making you... Think and say, you know what? Is it me? Am I doing something? Like, why are these people coming at me? No, you just that good. And people don't like to see when people are doing better than them. That's all that is. It's not you. It's them. Why is the Empress here, Spirit? Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here for Scorpio? Somebody's thinking heavily about you. Somebody is thinking about you. Somebody is thinking about how they can come back into your life. It could be one of these many people that you have so conveniently cut out of your life. Mm -hmm. I also feel this is you as the empress. You have many options. You are the empress. So you like, you know, I'm cutting you mother out my life because I have plenty other options of people who will treat me correct and if not I'm going to get myself together in every way that I can so I can attract better so I'm, I'm not attracting these people you have to ask yourself why were you attracting these people in the first place what was it about you that were attracting these people it could have just been simply you are allowing this behavior for too long and now you have to learn how to stop allowing this type of behavior to be present in your life you have to stand up for yourself and say no, 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 no. I'm worth more than that. And I'm not going to allow you to come over here with your BS. Go on back over there with that. Mm -hmm. Again, here we have you at the bottom of the deck. Again, you are cutting something off. You are letting something go. You are deading something. Why is seven of cups here? 
Why is seven of cups here? Why is seven of cups here? Somebody was definitely a snake that was around you. Somebody could have been stealing money from you as well. Look at what we got at the bottom of the deck. Emperor. We have somebody that is coming in for you that is a perfect match. We have a brand new love offer that's here. Mm-hmm. Somebody, this emperor, they see you as they see you as um as the empress, and they're thinking about you and they want to come towards you. And they want to offer you their cup of love. Whether you want this person or not, I'm not sure. But that is up for you to decide. All those people you cut off, it's good that you cut them off. If you have not cut them off, baby, you need to go on and cut them off. Because like I said, somebody could have even stole money from you. And you need to do this quickly. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? You've been working very hard. Somebody sees you working hard. Like I said, they don't. And you're still at the bottom. Y'all standing strong. Y'all standing strong. You guys are very strong. Um, somebody is seeing you work. Somebody is seeing how hard you work. Scorpio, make sure you watch the Virgo read as well. I don't always say it, but Virgo and Scorpio used to be the same sign. You guys can um, do that research on your own, but... Um, so make sure that you do, if you're a Scorpio, you watch Virgo, and if Virgo, you watch Scorpio. Um, however, um, you guys are very, very hard workers. You guys are detailed. You guys don't leave any stone unturned, and your work ethic is paying off, and you have haters, pretty much, that are around you, and they don't like to see you win because they don't have the work ethic that you have to get to where you're going or to get to where you're headed. Even though if you feel like, well, I ain't at the success that I want yet, they still see where you are as successful already, and they mad that they ain't even where you are right now, even though you're trying to go further. You don't need people like that in your life. Why is Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah, somebody's going to try to come back around and offer you their cup. And you're like, yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it. You don't want what they have. You're over it, just like it says. You also may be overworking. You may be working yourself a little bit too much as well. Spirit, why is Four of Cups here? 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 Ah, okay. I'm going to take both of them. Come on out. <sighs> They're keeping their eye on you. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. They like, how Scorpio go cut me off? Spirit is telling you to just be patient. Things is balancing out for you. This person is watching to see how they can come back around, how they can come back into your life. Spirit is taking care of this person. I feel like it's somebody very specific that has been doing something to you. I feel like um, I feel like it's been multiple people, but I feel like there's one person that's really standing out. Mm -hmm. This could be an ex specifically that you have let go. Why is this? Yeah, you guys are moving forward. You guys are definitely moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're holding on to you and they don't want you to know that. They're secretly holding on to you. They ain't going to tell you that. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? What did I say? New love. This is the hierophant. This is marriage. This is a relationship. Although we're not, this isn't, um, this entire read isn't about this new person that is coming in. You do have somebody that is coming in for you. And this person is, I feel is it's, it's a really beautiful love. That's the type of energy that I am getting from it. You guys are the perfect match. Like I told you, somebody is thinking about you as the empress. Somebody wants to come and offer you their cup of love. They want to start brand new with you. They want to start a new relationship with you because they're an emperor and empress. We have this match here. And why is the emperor here? Because they want this long-term relationship with you. This is talking about marriage. This is talking about the traditional way of doing things. And that is why they are here in your life, okay? 
So I am going to get a final piece of advice. Yep, cut them people off. Do what's best for you. You need to cut these people off. That way you can continue to manifest this new person in your life. That's if you want somebody, somebody new coming in. The full card wanted to jump out. Yeah, this new person, we're talking about this new person now. This new person, they're thinking about you. It could also be this new person that's watching you as well. So you could have new and old people watching you. However, this person that wants to come towards you, they want to offer you their cup. So you've had the page of cup and the knight of cups. So they're moving towards you. They went from the page to the knight. They're coming towards you very, very soon. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be emotional, emotionally fulfilling. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like they're, I feel like they are moving slow. I feel like they are, um, I don't want to say impatient. I feel like they're patient. They're kind of just, let me just take my time. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> that kind of like Eeyore type thing, you know, they're not a downer or anything, but that's just like the type of vibe I get, you know, it's like they're coming in towards you. They want to be with you, but they're also not in a rush. It's kind of like they're, they're going to take things slow to make sure it's right. All right. So um, that is it. I feel like I need to pull one more card. One more card. Okay. Yeah. When you get into this new relationship, this old person is going to be watching you. These old people, whether it's friends, co-workers, mom, dad, cousin, grandma, granddaddy, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew. It doesn't matter. Whoever you've cut off, they see that you're working hard. They see that you're moving forward. They see that you are happy in your life with, um, with your work and with the people that are coming into your life and with the things that you are attracting into your life life just because they're not physically in your life um and the way with the access that they want or in the way that they want doesn't mean that they are not watching from the outside and baby they are watching they are keeping their eye on you scorpio and they are frustrated like how do they cut me off and they still winning bam and you like i'm scorpio bitch <laughs> Anyways, I am going to leave your read there, Scorpio. This is a beautiful read. Just cut off those people um, because you really do have some sneaky, deceptive ass people that surround you that you need to get from around because they are not doing you any good at all. So cut them off, okay? Um, continue to work hard and know that you are attracting a brand new, beautiful love that could lead to marriage. So... Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you are interested in your own personal read, I am taking them right now. Thank you for your support. Or if you are also interested in manifestation coaching or life coaching, relationship coaching, then you guys can click the link down below in the description box. Until next time, Scorpio. Bye.